God wants my whole heart. By Ann Peterson, read by Leah Martin. Today's Bible verse is Luke 10:27. And he answered, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and your neighbor as yourself. Remember when you first heard about the Lord? You couldn't read the Bible enough and you could hardly wait to get together with other Christians to share the latest thing you learned about God. You shared the gospel with others, hoping for opportunities. You didn't worry about what someone might think of you. You worried about whether they knew Jesus or not. There was an urgency, a purpose in sharing. In those days when trials came, you'd search the Bible for verses to help you through. You wanted to trust God, so you surrendered everything to Him. You were in 100%. God had your whole heart. But somehow, over time, things changed. And the things that had been on the top of your list moved down a little. Trials seemed heavier or somehow you felt less prepared to face them. Maybe a disappointment weighed you down. Perhaps it was more than one, and that caught you off guard. After all, hadn't you been close to the Lord? It wasn't that long ago, and you knew, as it says in Hebrews 4.16, that you had access to God's throne room. Maybe one disappointment led to another, and you started feeling a little less special to God. You started listening to the lies the enemy whispers. Lies like, God doesn't really care about you. If God cared, you wouldn't be going through these hard times. You started feeling distance between you and God, and your excitement to get into the Bible lessened. Maybe the worries of life or The desires for other things moved in when you weren't looking. Or maybe you outgrew the love you had, as Scripture explains in Mark 4, 19. In the beginning, you had so many answered prayers, felt like you had a special connection with God. But it felt less like this when the trials got harder and harder, and the memories you had grew dim. Sometimes, all it takes for a rekindling of our love is remembrance. What was it that drew you to God in the first place? Had that changed? No, not at all. God reached out to you, sending you someone to share about Jesus. You drank in every drop of living water, letting it seep down into your very soul. You learned you were a sinner and that John 3.16 says, God loved you enough to send his own son to die for you. You learned in John 15.13 that no one else would ever love you like God does. God forgave all your sins. He gave you access to heaven by accepting the sacrifice that Jesus made. All you had to do, as it says in Ephesians 2.8-9, was accept the gift held out to you, and you did just that, grabbing onto it with both hands. When we feel distance from our Father, it's something that can be fixed. God didn't move, we did, and all we have to do is call on Him. When Peter walked on the water in Matthew 14, he did fine until he took his eyes off Jesus. Jesus didn't shame Peter for slipping down, nor Did he reprimand Peter? No, when Peter called out to the Lord, Jesus immediately reached out and lifted him up. And he does the same with us. God loves us so much. Luke 12, 7 says that he even knows how many hairs we have on our heads. God cares about us, and he'll never stop caring. Let me share a poem with you that I wrote about this. I wonder when it happened, Lord, this feeling we're apart. I know when I first met you that I gave to you my heart. And then my father showed me 
that when trials came my way, I'd pull my heart back slightly a little more each day. I didn't want the distance and knew what I must do. I handed back my heart to him and all my love anew. God doesn't want just part of me. He doesn't want just half of my heart, like the song of the same name by Nathan Peterson, which you can find on YouTube. God wants my whole heart. That's what Jesus told us in Luke 10, 27. Hey, everyone. Thanks for listening to Your Daily Bible Verse, a production of the Salem Web Network. If you enjoyed what you heard today, we'd love for you to head over to iTunes and rate and review our podcast. It really does help people find us. This episode was produced by our managing editor, Kelly Givens, and recorded and edited by Stephen Sanders. Be sure to come back tomorrow as we examine more of God's Word.